you be the judge. A Canadian truck driver was on his cell phone while driving his truck. He killed a woman and her two kids that were in a light vehicle in front of him. The dash camera proves that he was on his cell phone texting while he got into the accident. Now, it has also been proven that the driver's logs were falsified and edited where he went over his 11 hours allowable driving time. Now, I want you guys to sentence the driver. Now, in a recent poll that I've conducted, over 1,700 people took part in this poll. So the options were life in prison, 10 years without parole, five years in prison, or three years in prison. Now, 51% said that the driver deserves a sentence of life in prison. 34% said, 10 years without parole, 7% said 5 years in prison, 8% said 3 years in prison. So first of all, what do you think about this poll? And second of all, I want you guys to decide for your mind on what you would vote because there's going to be a couple of follow-up questions to see if that would change or edit your sentencing. Now, there was 96 comments on this poll and really, really interesting comments. So I'm gonna throw a couple of twists your way. So while he was driving, he received a phone call from a freight broker asking him for the update. The driver did not pick up the phone. Then he received another phone call and the driver didn't pick up the phone. The third time the freight broker tried to get a hold of him, he sent him a text message. The driver then took his phone and started texting the freight broker that gave him the load. Does that alter your sentence? Now, we said that the driver had falsified his logs, but it wasn't the actual driver that falsified his logs. It was the safety manager that edited his logs, put a ghost driver in his truck for a few hours at the beginning of the day. Now, what is a ghost driver? Basically, it's a driver that doesn't exist. So a lot of trucking companies, they have a lot of data of ex-drivers. So what I've heard is happening a lot in the industry is that ghost drivers are being put in order for drivers to do a lot more mileage. So in this scenario, does it change your mind if the owner of the company did falsification of logs in order for the driver to have a few more hours to get to his destination? So number one, you need to understand that this job does not pay enough for you to go to prison, whether it's for a lifetime or whether it's for 10 years or five years or three years. Now, you need to understand that in this scenario, nobody's gonna have mercy on the truck driver. 51 percent said life in prison all right just from the first story without the curveballs that i gave you and 34 percent said the guy is getting 10 years in prison without parole which means that 85 percent of the people that heard the story said that the driver should be either sentenced to life in prison or 10 years in prison which means nobody's gonna have any mercy on you since you guys are on these platforms that truck drivers learn how to work with Siri. Very, very important. So as a truck driver, you know, voice over is so advanced these days that I could just say, hey Siri, send a text message to Johnny Dispatch. What do you want to say? Hey Johnny, I'm in bumper to bumper traffic. There's no way I'm getting to my delivery. I really want you to uh, change the delivery to at least three hours forward. It says, hey Johnny, I am in bumper to bumper traffic. There's no way I'm getting to my delivery. I really want you to change the delivery to at least three hours forward. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Done. Hey Siri, can you read my last message? You have recent messages from Johnny? Johnny said not an issue, but you sent it to the wrong person's smiley face. Would you like to reply? No, learn to work with your phone with voice and not with your actual hands. So that's the moral of the story in this video. I really want you guys to uh, put the comments down below. I really want you to sentence this driver. You know, if you want my opinion, so in the first scenario when we don't have that much information, when we just know that uh, knew that he killed the woman with the two kids in the light vehicle with the dash cam footage without knowing who he was texting, sentence the driver to the 10 years in prison. And now with the curveball number one, would it change my mind if the person was texting a freight broker and haggling the owner operator for an update. It wouldn't change my mind on the 10 years, but I would definitely put the blame on the brokerage company, meaning there's going to be a huge lawsuit. So I really truly believe that, you know, if this was to be a live scenario or really did happen, that freight broker is getting a huge lawsuit. Now, when it comes to the owner of the company that's falsifying the driver's logs, um, yes, the driver is to blame because he's aware of what the company is doing and he's still you know, proceeding with it or working with it, then I would also make sure that into this lawsuit would uh, would be the owner of the trucking company who is 100% at fault for 
falsifying the logs and he should also be going to jail for just the, the same amount of time that that driver is going to jail for falsifying somebody's logs. Um, well, that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion, guys, on it. If this video does do well, I would definitely create scenarios like this every two weeks, just, you know, a series called You Be The Judge. Uh, where I would give you live scenarios of things that can happen in our industry, just so I could pick your brain to see what the audience thinks. I'd love to hear your comments. I'm Ronan, and I'll catch you in my next video. Hey guys, just a quick update. I'm gonna be in Moncton, New Brunswick on September 10th to the 13th, and I'd love to meet as many people as I can. If you're an owner operator, a small fleet owner, or a company driver, I'd love to meet some of you guys out there, so please feel free to reach out. Now, I'm also gonna be in Chicago, Illinois on September 24th to the 27th. So again, if you're a small fleet owner, owner operator, or company driver, I'd love to meet you guys there. So if any one of those dates work for you in any one of those two locations, feel free to reach out to me at sponsorship at ettransport.ca. And now let's get back to that video.